for the writing, it's rushed. The characters mostly get reduced to the broadest archetypical versions of their characters from the book. Bilbo is fussy. Dwarves have a strange notion of perfection. Thorin is grumpy. A splendid lucky number you found for us. Bomber is fat. And, uh, Bomber at your service. The rest of the dwarves are there too. Mr. Baggins, Bilbo? And Gandalf just seems mysterious for mysterious' sake in a way that's just unhelpful. Like, okay, much has been written about how the Gandalf of the Hobbit is more of a general mysterious old wizard trope than his more complex and grounded portrayal in Lord of the Rings, but reading The Hobbit, I still got the sense that he's, like, a character whose actions are motivated, even if the motivations are sometimes unclear to Bilbo and the dwarves. In this movie, not so much. If the secret door is hidden, how do we find it? The map doesn't tell. It does, and it doesn't. Huh? You will understand in time. Dude, if you don't know, you can just say that. And then when he's not being vague, it seems like he only cares about furthering Bilbo's development. Like he's making big moves for the sole purpose of Bilbo's self-actualization. Like he's some sort of manic wizard dream Gandalf. Now, now, I am already late because of bothering with you people. I am sending Mr. Baggins with you. That should be enough. The burglar? Me? I'm no equal to a wizard. Nonsense. You are the lucky number. And soon you'll find out there's more about you than you guess. You don't really suppose, do you, that all your adventures and escapes were managed by mere luck? Just for your sole benefit? No, he believes that you orchestrated everything just for his sole benefit. You made choices just because they would drive his art, not because you have anything else going on in Middle-earth. Also, Gandalf seems to know the whole time that Bilbo has a magic ring. Your story, Bilbo, has the ring of truth. Yes, it rings true. Okay, fair. In the book, Bilbo did wonder if Gandalf guessed the part he let out, and I think that's a fun way of adapting that note. But Gandalf seems to know already that it's the one ring? Oh, Bilbo Baggins. If you really understood that ring, a someday members of your family not yet born will. Then you'd realize that this story has not ended, but is only beginning. You are uncharacteristically chill about that. I guess having the most evil item in the universe resurface is just, you know, cute and quirky as long as it can teach Bilbo another lesson. 